Hello class, welcome to my presentation on my experiment, which is the effects of gender on auditory reaction time. The purpose of this experiment was to analyze the differences between two different gender groups, male and female, when it comes to auditory reaction time. It is a known fact that one's reaction time may be impacted by factors such as gender and age. The study conducted will allow researchers to grasp a better understanding of how gender may impact one's auditory reaction time. Reaction time is a measurement of how long it takes for the brain and nerves to react to a stimulus. Reaction time is essential, since it is a good indicator of one's alertness and measures an individual's sensory motor coordination and performance. Reaction time is important in everyday life, as though individuals constantly utilize functions such as the sensory system, cognitive processing, and motor performance in their daily task. For instance, reaction time is vital when it comes to driving. Poor or delayed reaction times may lead to dire consequences such as a car accident or even death. The hypothesis of this experiment will revolve around two different demographics and their overall performance. It is predicted that in all three task conditions, males will have a faster reaction time than females. So focusing on the methods, participants were gathered through the OPL database system. Participants were college, university students who came from various schools. The total number of participants in the study was 175. However, there were 41 males and 134 females. Focusing on age, the mean age for males was 24.073 and the standard deviation was 7.416. Meanwhile, the mean age for females was 23.507 and the standard deviation was 6.914. One of the materials utilized in the study was the OPL, Online Psychology Laboratory System. Various sounds, noises were utilized for each task condition presented. The whistle going up and the whistle going down sounds were the primary stimuli participants had to focus on and respond to. Other sounds, such as breaking noises, were utilized during the go, no-go task. Participants had to utilize technology such as laptops and mobile devices in order to access the OPL system. Participants were in a work environment such as home or school when conducting this experiment. Focusing on the design and procedure, the study utilizes a two-way experimental design with three levels to one of the independent variables. The three types of task were simple, G and G, and choice. The other independent variable is the participant's gender, male or female. The task condition variable is manipulated within subjects, which signifies each participant receives all three tasks. The gender variable is manipulated between subjects, which means a participant's gender may impact their reaction time. To control for potential order effects across different participants, the order in which the tasks were presented was randomly determined. The dependent variable is the time from the onset of the stimulus to the key press reaction, which is measured to the nearest millisecond. Before the experiment began, Participants consented and were given directions on how to respond to each task condition. In the simple task, participants press a key as quickly as possible after the stimulus has been presented. During the go, no-go task, participants had to respond to one particular event, for example, a whistle, but ignore other events such as breaking glass. During the choice task, participants had to respond differently to two stimuli by pressing one key for event A and a separate key for event B. After the participants completed each task, they would save their data and receive an experiment results ID, which would track their information. Focusing on the results, the first table is the means and standard deviations of each task condition for both gender groups. The mean and standard deviation of each task condition were computed for both gender groups. A mixed repeated measures ANOVA test was utilized to analyze the results of the study. Through this particular analysis, statistical, statistically significant evidence was found in support of the alternative hypothesis. Table 1 demonstrates the mean and standard deviation of each task condition presented for both gender groups. For each task condition, the mean and standard deviation were lower for males in comparison to females. These low numbers signify males had a faster response towards auditory stimuli than females. Focusing on the second table, which is statistical analysis on the differences between gender and overall auditory reaction time. Table 2 demonstrates whether gender has an effect on the participant's reaction time. According to the table, there is a significant difference between both gender groups and their reaction time. 
The F value was 11.743 and the P value was 0 0.001. This indicates one gender group either had an overall faster or slower response towards auditory stimuli than the other group. Here we have our first figure, which is descriptive plot graph demonstrating the reaction times of females and males. As you can see, males had a significantly faster reaction time for all three conditions than females. Figure 1 demonstrates the average reaction time of each task condition for both gender groups, male and female. According to the graph above, males had a faster auditory reaction time than females for all three task conditions. The graph indicates the hypothesis of this study is, was supported. Focusing on the discussion, the results revealed males had a faster reaction time than females when responding to auditory stimuli. Muscle contraction time is the same for males and females. However, motor responses in males are comparatively stronger than females. This information may explain why males have faster responses towards auditory stimuli than females. For instance, male participants in this study have significantly faster auditory reaction times in comparison to female participants. The implications of this study is vital when analyzing one's daily life and everyday task. The data presented indicates male may respond faster to auditory stimuli than females when in serious life-threatening situations. For example, there's a higher chance probability males will respond faster to any life-threatening noises such as a pop or boom when in situations such as a car accident. Males may have a better chance of saving themselves from dire consequences such as death or serious injuries due to their advantage of possessing stronger motor skills responses. However, females may utilize the implications from this experiment to improve their motor abilities. For instance, exercise and fast action sports activities allow females to strengthen their motor skills. These activities shorten the difference between both gender groups when it comes to auditory reaction times. Overall, male and female participants differed when it came to responding to auditory stimuli. Through current and previous data information, the alternative hypothesis is supported that males had faster auditory reaction times than females. Understanding one's motor and cognitive abilities may allow individuals to improve these aspects. These skills, abilities may be vital in dire life-threatening situations such as a car accident. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.